what's up everyone welcome back to my channel i am back with another video this will be a general reading for my divine masculines my divine feminines just a general reading for the collective that i have here with you guys my my followers welcome another thing that i have um well, it's been brought to my attention and comment down below if you catch them on camera. I mean, I can't see them while I'm reading for you guys and while I'm recording. But as I'm recording, if you don't mind, if you're watching this video, if you see like orbs flying around me, let me know. Let me know if you see orbs. Um yeah if you don't know what an orb means or, or what an orb is google it google what orbs are so you can understand exactly what you'll be looking for because i can't see them but you'll be able to see them on my video i don't see them until after i post so yes let's get straight into this video Alrighty, so this will be for my Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. I'm going to write some Palo Santo. And we're going to get straight into this video. I hope everybody is having a beautiful day today. If you are a returning subscriber, coming back to watch my video. Hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the Vance Kingdom family. Welcome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. But yes, I hope everybody is having a beautiful day today. It's really nice outside. The sun is shining. Well, I got my blinds closed in here, but the sun is definitely shining. I'm very surprised that this is staying lit. Anytime I like this, it goes right out. Why? I don't know, but it's staying lit today. Today must be a lit day. Gonna have a good day today, okay? But yeah, let's get into this video. I think I'm gonna light a little bit of sage as well. Because I'm doing a, a collective reading, so I want to clear out any negative energy, any negative entities, anything that's negative, we want to get that out of here. So we can have a clear read, no negative energy. And also, for my new subscribers, please understand that this is a general reading. This is not a personal reading. So, if something does not resonate with you, you don't have to take it personal because this is not a personal reading. Okay? If it does not apply, I mean, <laughs> if it doesn't apply to you, just let it fly past you. Okay? If it don't apply, let it fly. Don't take it personal because this is not a personal reading. If you would like a personal reading from me, you're more than welcome to comment down below and I can give you further instructions on how we can get that started for you. I don't know what this computer is doing. Okay. Alright, so we got that done. And we have to get straight into it. The, the uh, cards are already pre-shuffled. So I don't have to do much shuffling. I only shuffle like one or two times just to get the flow of the reading. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in to my channel. I really appreciate you taking the time out to be here with me today. Don't forget to comment down below if you see orbs flying around me. If you would like, you can also timestamp it. So when I do go back and watch the video, I'll know when did you see it or if you really saw it because I can't see them. And I want to know if orbs are flying around me. If, they're, if my spirit angels and spirit gods are like coming in the form of an orb, like Google what does orb mean. All right, so let's get straight into this video. Let's go, let's go. Hold on, let me say a quick prayer real fast. Okay. 
I kind of had like something to say to my spirit guides. That's why it took me a little longer for today's prayer. of pentacles okay I definitely see somebody coming in from out of the cold coming in from the dark night of the soul like they're um they're coming from somebody's going through a trans a transformation somebody has really been through a lot someone has broken their leg somebody could have got into a car accident the lover's car okay so this is Gemini's energy um you could be with somebody who or you may have to take care of somebody who broke their leg or somebody who is, um, who somebody got in a really bad car accident. This person could have been in the hospital for about five months. Or they will be in the hospital for five months. Wow. Have the Knight of Wands, the slowest moving knight in the deck. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, I'm also picking up that um, some of you guys could be experiencing financial loss. Okay, um, could be worried about money. You have the Eight of Swords. You feel trapped mentally, like mentally imprisoned okay about what we're gonna find out something is moving slow your finances could be moving slow right now it could be a lack of uh money or you suffered a financial loss and money is slow for you which causes you to stress out like you can't think of anything to do because all you could think about is the things that you have to pay for the bills and things that need to be um paid it's hard not to think about it so you can, you could feel trapped in your mind like what do I do like how do I move forward from this like how do I recover from um, financial loss? Someone may be afraid to live in poverty or is living in poverty right now. You have the four of cups, so I definitely see you being offered something that you may not want, something that you don't expect. I'm hearing uh you could be offered something that you don't want it could be a job a job offer that you do not want but also i see that um how do i say this 
somebody has like a victim mentality like somebody likes to play the victim somebody feels like a victim with this um with this imprisonment like mentality there's a need for you to release your negative thoughts okay you may have applied for jobs and jobs are moving slow or you just not getting hired at all and somebody has to support somebody who's sick okay i'm here i'm hearing that somebody has to support somebody who's sick and it's hard for you not to, you know, think negative thoughts when nothing positive is happening for you. There's a need to release those negative thoughts because those negative thoughts are becoming reality and they're creating the narrative of your life. Try to shift your way of thinking and, you know, may start to say to yourself, well, I guess this is moving slow because God has something better for me. Spirit has something better for me. Versus saying, dang, I ain't never going to get no job. Jobs don't never hire me. Damn, shit always going wrong in my life. But things are always moving slow. Those are um, self-limiting beliefs. And you limit yourself. You have the three of cups. So you will be celebrating this offer look what is this offer spirit so i definitely you didn't want the offer at first but you definitely will be celebrating this offer so what i'm hearing is you may go on a job interview you may get called to go on a job interview and this job is not something that you that you actually want to do you don't really want to do this kind of job but when you get there and they explain to you what you'll be doing how much you're going to be getting paid you is you're going to be happy about it you may have not seen yourself doing this kind of job, working for this kind of company, but what they're going to be paying you, you're going to be like, well, shit, I'm going to work here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, you know, it's something to celebrate and something to be thankful for. Any more messages, Spirit? Somebody is definitely caring for their lover. Something happened with your lover. Something. Somebody hurt their leg. Somebody's on crutches right now. They depend on you. This person can't work. So they depend on you to make money. This person could have hurt their self at work. You have the seven of swords. How many cards do you got on this thing? Okay. So, okay. I'm hearing, be careful who you celebrate with. Be careful who you let in your circle, in your business, in regards to this job offer. Be careful who you out drinking with, okay? Somebody is trying to do something sneaky to you. Somebody is trying to get away with something. Strategically, be careful. For some of you guys... You're going to go out drinking. Be careful. Somebody may try to put something in your drink. Somebody is trying to stop you from being able to do something. You have the world card. Somebody is being sneaky about something. They're trying to do something very strategically. Um, this person is an imposter. They fake like they're happy for you. They're not. This person is... Um, they're definitely... They're definitely... Um, keeping secrets and trying to do something strategically to sabotage you, your situation, your love life, whatever you have going on. The fact that you're down, they're trying to keep you down. Somebody is not happy for you getting this job. This person is going to celebrate with you. This person is going to celebrate with you. You could be a Gemini. I'm hearing Gemini. to be a Gemini, but I definitely was hearing Gemini. Mm, mm, mm. So anyway,
anyways with this world card uh it symbols completion travel there's a cycle in your life that you uh have completed give me some more cards you're very intuitive i'm sorry y'all you're very intuitive you may not feel like um this well at first honestly you did not feel like this job was an accomplishment but after you go there and you learn all that you need to learn you talk to them about your pay the things that you're able to do it's an accomplishment for you but let me tell you, with this person, with this seven of swords, you got somebody who's sneaking around you, who's not happy for your accomplishment, who's an imposter, acting like they're happy for your accomplishments when they're really not, honey. Be careful who you're around. Because you don't want that to uh, delay what you have going on because this person is trying to do something to you. This person is trying to put something in your drink. I keep hearing something in your drink. For some of you guys, you don't drink, but, you know, with... A, with with celebrations and accomplishments you have a drink but with people that you think that you love and people that are your friends somebody like one of your friends is really touchy touchy filly filly that's <laughs> what i'm hearing you got the queen of cups okay very focused very intuitive okay we gonna move on from this deck we're going to get another deck of cards and at the bottom of the deck we have the knight of pentacles so you may have an offer coming in for you very very soon with this queen of cups like i said before you're very intuitive so try to use your intuition on this situation with this um these two women. You somebody has two friends. It's three of y'all, including yourself all together. But somebody has two friends. One of your friends is touchy touchy, filly filly. The other one is holding something behind your back, doing something sneaky. Like one of your friends is cool, goofy, very fun to be around. And then you got this one friend who always trying to be in competition with you, is what I'm hearing. This person got some to me. What I see, the eyes look funny looking, but it's like this person got like an evil eye. This person comes off every time you doing something. She has a neck. She she brings out the negative side of it. <sighs> okay, so I can understand why you know in the beginning of this reading you may have felt like, damn, what do I do because. You have your lover who is relying on you, who's sick and hurt right now. And due to COVID, you know, it's hard to get it, get income right now, you know. This person can't work because their leg is broke. Like they're, they're going through health issues. Somebody's going through health issues. Somebody could have had um, a concussion, head surgery. I definitely see somebody walking on crutches though, okay. And you are helping this person, and this person can't work, so you're definitely stressed out about your finances. Try to practice self-care, self-love, to stay afloat. Okay, it says spirit has a plan, so don't worry. Do not fret. Do not worry. Spirit has a plan. You will not be left alone in this situation, so I have to deal with it. So don't worry. Don't be trapped in your head having imprisoned thoughts, thinking negative, okay, don't, you know, things may have been moving slow for you, you know, you may have not gotten what you want, but what you're going to get is exactly what you need, and it's going to be right on time, okay, somebody's birthday could be August the 4th, so you could be a Leo, August the 13th. Somebody's a Taurus as well. Some um, signs that are popping up here. Cancer. Life is a mystery. 
Yes, it is. Sometimes we go through things and we don't understand like why or what's the meaning behind it until after we, you know, accomplish that cycle or complete that path, complete those challenges. And be like, oh, that's why I went through that. Um, not everything that we go through is something negative. You know, it's not something bad. It may feel uncomfortable through the process of going through it, but spirit got a plan. They got your back. Okay. Be open to infinite possibilities. So like I said, with this Four of Cups, you didn't really want this job. You didn't really want this opportunity. Whatever this opportunity is that Spirit is presenting to you, you really did not want it. You got your arms full. You're like, oh my God, I do not want to do this. But it's something that I have to do because you have people who are depending on you. Spirit wants you to be open to infinite possibilities because whatever, whenever you go to this job or whatever opportunity this is, it's going to open up more doors for you. And you're going to be celebrating, but remember, I said be careful with who you celebrate with. Now, you have um, Lizard Spirit, Dream the World into Being. Hold on real quick. Let me pull out my handy dandy notebook. My handy dandy notebook. Okay, girl. Hope that you guys are enjoying this reading. All right. I don't think I have an intuitive message. I've been writing intuitive messages lately for my readings. I don't think I wrote one. I was up at 4 o'clock this morning. Why, girl? I don't know. Oh, yes, I do. I was uploading videos. Because for some reason yesterday, my videos was having a hard time uploading. And I was a little confused about that. So... Yeah, but anyways, let's get back to this. Okay. Okay, so for some of you with this dream the world into being, for some of you, you are not really open to this job or this new opportunity because you have a dream that you want to pursue. And this may be far-fetched from your dream. This may be off from what you actually want to do. But um, if you give into the power of imagination and soon your dream will become clearer, the steps will reveal themselves and what was immortal informal will begin to coalesce into form dream it and be it spirit asks you to dare to dream big so something to do with this job and your dream is going to come together something to do with this opportunity that you did not want to take that you do not that you're not open to like your arms folded like i do not want to do this I'm picking up for some of you, your dream is going to come true working at this job. Whatever your dream is, it's going to come true through this job. And you had no idea that this job could take you to, the, to, to this kind of place. Okay, let's keep going. Transformation is beautiful. I definitely said in the beginning, I definitely see that you was going through a transformation um, from the like the dark night of the soul. Okay, some dramatic events could have happened to you in the recent or past. Yeah. 
there's a need for you when you do go on this job interview or when you do get this offer to pay attention to the little details okay tend to the small things like pay attention to the small fine writing you have a lot of blessings coming your way through this job which is, it has something to do with your dream it says now is a lucky time Now is a lucky time for you to um, continue to dream big and dream bigger. Like this job is going to lead you to where exactly you want to be. Excuse me. Sorry, give me some more messages. You have a lot of uh, fated events happening. It's like, this job moves slow for a reason. It was a delay for a reason. Divine detours for a reason. You could have been with, with somebody who worked and you didn't have to work. You were working on the things that you wanted to do as far as your dream. It says time for beginning mind. So it's time for you to start over. Time for you to think of something new. And when I say something new, don't forget about what you want to do, but there's going to be a new way for you to think of how can I bring this to life? How many we got? Okay, any last messages, Spirit? You are never alone. So whenever you get this started, whenever you start feeling frustrated or worried, like you don't have anybody to that can relate to your story, you do. You're not the only person that has ever been through a situation like this. Whenever you feel like you don't have anybody to talk to, nobody's around, you know, to help you. Your spirit guides and spirit angels are always there to assist you. You have to call on them, but you are never alone. They're always there in your corner. Let me know if you see them up ahead. Don't forget to comment down below about them orbs, girl. Oh, boy. Thank you. All right, so let's count it up. Let's see what numbers we got, what numerology we got. So I am seeing 333, 444, 888. Eight, eight. Okay, yes. Eight, eight, eight. You actually have four, 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 four. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But trust in divine detours and delays. This situation happened where it happened for a reason. I'm trying to tell you, whatever dream you've been trying to manifest, honey, it's coming. It's coming, and it's coming in a way that you did not expect. That's why Spirit wants you to be open to infinite. Ooh, and it's the last call. Be open to infinite possibilities. You had no idea that whatever your dream is, whatever it is that you're trying to bring to life, you had no idea that it this job that you'll be working at or whatever it is that you'll be doing will be the cause of why it finally takes off the ground. It finally works out. So, congratulations. That is good news. So we're gonna pour some wall cards. Okay. Hopefully with these wall cards, it can tell us something about you have this the lovers card here too. And you um First card out. Accept. Mm, I said excess. The first card out is success. I'm telling you, you got love, harmony, a good relationship on your side right now. For some of you, 
your relationship can feel a little stressful right now because you are the one who has to do all the work. You may not be used to having to do everything. For some of you guys, you are used to staying home, used to getting pampered, used to shopping and having a good time. So you may feel like it's an imbalance, you know, but it's not. Success is on your side. The reason why stuff had to happen like this is so you can get this opportunity so your dream can take off. Hint, secret. You feel like home to me. I feel like this is your lover's energy. This person loves being around you. This person worked a lot. And they're also starting to, they have to be at home a lot. You feel like home to me. This person loves being around you. You make this person feel warm. You're very nurturing, very caring. Babies. You can have children by this person, or this person wants to have a lot of babies. Okay. Babies. Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? So give me some messages in regards to my collective. I hope they do talk about who this this sneaky person is. Who this sneaky person is because I know it's a friend. I definitely know that it's a friend. Somebody has short curly hair. I think you're going to find out about this person. Doing this sneaky shit. They think that they're doing it behind you. Ooh. It's going to be a lot of confusion. They think they're doing it behind your back, but they're really not. I want to put some more regular tarot cards in regards to the sneaky person. Yeah, somebody's undercover. Somebody is an imposter in regards to the sneaky person. This person is very much so undercover. Trying to, like, cover up things about who they truly are. This person is sneaky. It says expose your emotions. You need to let this person know how you feel. If you may feel feel like this person is sneaky, or you like I said, somebody got an intuition. Somebody feel some kind of way, but they like, no, nah, I don't really know. I can't really put my finger on it. I don't really know. Like you don't have concrete proof. This could be your mother, okay? Somebody is a mother. Okay. Or do you, you may want to be a mother. You may want to have children. I'm also hearing that. But I'm also picking up for some of you that somebody's mother is an uh, undercover hater. Just saying. I'm going to pull some of um, these tarot cards. Because I want to clarify this seven of swords. I want to know about this sneaky person who you tell your accomplishments to who tries to sabotage you like this person tries to sabotage excuse me your um your accomplishment like this person will put something in your drink to where you're sick and you're not able to go to that job it's like this person don't want you to work this person does not want you to it's something that you found out about this job that you shared with this person and they know that if you take one more step forward, is a possibility that you're going to surpass them. Like, people want to see you good, but not doing better than them. This person is going to try to sabotage that. This person is keeping a secret from you and trying to do something strategically to you in order for you not to be able to work this job because they don't want to see you flourish. They don't want to see you move forward. I'm telling you, you're going to have a lot of different options. Um, clarify the seven of swords for me, please. Thank you. Ooh, okay. So you have the six of wands. So you have a lot of people looking up to you. You also are going to have some news coming in, but that's not enough, Spirit. They're trying to be secretive. Give me some more information. Ooh, thank you, Spirit. So you have the five of wands. This person is going to be trying to start arguments, battles trying to fight this person will be very confrontational you may argue with this person on and off like one minute what i'm picking up for somebody let me put this back over here for somebody one minute y'all cool one minute y'all not like 
it's like their relationship is on and off. This person is in and out. You do consider this person as a friend. A lot of you guys have differences from this person. Like, y'all don't hate each other, but at the same time, it's like, it's something about this person that you just, you, you I feel like you called him out on a bullshit. Y'all get into it. Stop talking for a while. Then start talking again. Everything is cool. They do, end up doing some doing something else, something sneaky or just something that's just like make you question like, why would you do some shit like that? So you have the Eight of Swords. So um, I'm, I'm picking up this is in regards to this person who um is ill right now. They could have a sickness of this person. Um, it's very to say this person needs to take time out from working. They need to rest, relax. You know, it is time for you to be there for this person. This person has an illness. Something happened with this person. This person is sick. I did see that somebody is on crutches or... Okay, so you have the Seven of Pentacles. Um, you could be frustrated with all the work that's needing to be done in this situation, you know, and life. There's a lot of work to be done in life. So you could be frustrated with all that has to be done. But I'm telling you, it's some secrets that's going to be uh, revealed. Some of them, some secrets will be good and some secrets are going to be bad. But with this, with this seven of swords, this sneaky person, this person trying to betray you. I swear to God, like, this person trying to betray you. They trying to get away with doing something. I wish Spirit would come on and tell me. They they all talking about other things. So, you have the Eight of Swords again. Feeling frustrated, feeling bound, feeling caged. You know, having, um, uh, like, your mind is in a mental imprisonment. Okay. For some of you, your spouse is happy being in the house. That rhyme, but no, honestly, this person is happy to be home. Like they said, you feel like home to me. Um, something about you makes this person think about childhood memories. They could always talk to you about, you remind me of this person, you remind me of that person. You know, this person may be opening up more because they are in the house more often now. Spirit. Any more messages? Any more messages? The Wheel of Fortune. Yes, honey. You will have a, a, a evolution. Mm. Sorry, I did not mean to say that. You will have an elevation of money. You will be taking a trip soon, but be careful with taking a trip because I do see somebody... Um, having a bed illness like this person may get sicker because they're having to stay in bed all the time they can't move around so yeah try to be careful also with the world call you definitely ac accomplished a lot and um completed a lot of phases but i'm still worried about this seven of wands i feel like in some different cards spirit won't let us know but we'll see Any more messages <sighs> Okay, so you have the Page of Cups. Okay, so um, it's some good news coming in. And I feel like, I feel like we already know what the good news is. It's in regards to this job. This opportunity that you thought so negative about that you did not want, you didn't expect, you know, you didn't expect to have victory in this situation. You thought it was going to be something mediocre, something that's not really anything to look forward to. But it is actually good news coming in in regards to this job, something that you'll be able to do that you always wanted to do. We gonna get some lovers oracle cards. Wow. 
got a lot of blessings coming your way. Also, for some of you, recognize your worth within this situation. Okay? Recognize your worth in this situation. And who you are in this situation. Just think about it. Think about how you handling all the business. You taking care of somebody who wants to care of you. You now got a job. You able to, you know, bring money in the house. Like, don't feel so bad about the job and you ain't even get there yet. Know your worth, because I feel like you're doing the damn thing you ask me. So, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. The spirit wants you to focus on yourself. Don't focus on too much of what you're going through and your responsibilities and what you have to do. Since only time will tell. to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there is no point trying to change that is which beyond our control so don't try to change anything about this job or your situation accept things for the way that they are like i told you before trust and divine detours delays happen for a reason this situation with your spouse your lover your husband whoever you're with wife whatever side you want just reverse it place it there but acceptance is the key you have to accept things and stop trying to change it especially if it's beyond your control there's nothing you can do about it we're gonna pull some of these cards She was complaining about a job wasn't coming and it was moving too slow. Now you got a job, you complain about what job it is, and wait till you get there. It's gonna be more than you expect, and you're gonna get more than you expect. You're gonna start achieving things that you actually wanted to always achieve. Oh wow, it says, I've been thinking about proposing to you. Give me a chance to be your life partner. So, for those of you who are not married, who are just in a relationship. This situation is bringing you and your partner closer together. This person is spending a lot more time um, at home. Be careful, though, who you tell your business to, who you celebrating with. Not everybody happy for you. And you may be deceiving yourself by thinking like, oh, this person won't do that. This person won't do that. It takes for people to actually do shit to you for you to believe it. It says, I just told you, like my spirit guys, they don't play. Do you see them in here? Comment down below. But it says, the truth will be revealed soon. They're mocking you behind your back. They are pretending to have all this love for you. Girl, didn't I tell you, boy? Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? They're pretending to have all this love for you when they really hate you and envy you deep down inside. They even want something you got. Or want to fuck up what you got going on. Honey, I ain't going to lie to you. With the seven of swords, honey. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't got no reason to. 
this seven of swords, this person is trying to get away with something. They're doing it strategically, honey. This person is doing it strategically. This person is very tricky. And they tricky because this is the person that you could have been around for about seven years. You could have known this person for seven years. And I don't think they ever got caught doing none of the shit that they did. They got away with some shit, but they ain't gonna keep getting away with shit for too long. The truth will, so, will soon be revealed. And you're gonna find out that only time will tell. Trust me. And let me tell you, when you find out, this person going to be ashamed. They're going to be ashamed. They're going to be embarrassed. This person may try to lie and um, to cover up what they did. Like, try to lie even more to cover up shit that they have, have done to you. This person made a lot of mistakes, honey. You still got this person around. You all celebrating with them and shit. And that's your time. This person got the evil eye for you. And they definitely cover it up. They definitely cover it up. This person got a hidden agenda. This person always had a, a fucking motive against you. I'm going to cut the deck. Shuffle the cards. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Please listen to your intuition. Please be careful who you talk to about this new opportunity that you'll be getting. And it's so crazy how spirit shows you shit right before it happens because this whole entire time of you knowing this person you ain't know nothing so this person is really saying this person is cocky that's something significant so you can help to help you figure out who is who because it's it's you either have three friends or two friends and including you is three, or it could be you had three friends. But Spirit is saying, like, this person is cocky. And Spirit has a way of delaying shit and having things to detour. Having things to go in a weird direction for a reason. You can't really celebrate with your spouse because your spouse is on bed rest. They can't go out for drinks, right? So... I'm, I'm sorry to say this person had to get their leg broke. Something, had to, something tragic had to happen to them in order for you to have to be the one to get the job, get this opportunity. This opportunity is going to allow your dreams and things that you have always wanted to do to take off. You go out and you celebrate with the people who you thought is your friends, your homegirls, your homeboys. Just to find out that, nope, this person envy you. They hate you. They hate her. Hate her, tater talk. This person hates you, Loki. And where you about to go, remember I told you, your dreams are soon to become reality. You got things that, um, what the fuck did I tell you? Yo. Wait till I read you this. This person cannot come with you where you're going okay so you may feel like why did it take this long for me to find out why did i have to find out this way or why is the audience amount of years later cool i get it things happen for a reason you weren't you weren't really having nothing going on or really going nowhere so they could be around but where you're about to go the money that you're about to receive was about to be going on they can't be a part of that spirit when i allow them to be a part of that the things they have done to you behind your back and have said about you and it ain't really that they didn't really be talking to you because they don't want people to know their true intentions about how they feel about you it's the shit that they actually have done to you this person has done something to you 
and you want to find out. <sighs> now, let me let me go ahead and blow y'all fucking mind with this. This person is embarrassed. Very ashamed. Didn't I say before these cards came out? Just rewind it, yo. Rewind the video. Before I before these cards came came out, I said this person is very embarrassed and ashamed. I ain't make these cards come out. I just be shuffling, shuffling. They come out. Spirit know I be tuned in. Maybe I follow my intuition. And when I'm just genuinely speaking, I'm just telling you what I feel off of these cards that I'm picking up, the energy. And it's crazy how the cards come out and they clarify, spirit clarify me like, yes. Anyway, sorry, but I just be so excited when spirit be like, let me know. Comment down below if y'all see my spirit guides flying around me. What are yet? What are yet? All right, anyway. This person is embarrassed, very ashamed, and they're having a hard time apologizing. This person is very stubborn. They would rather go through it secretly, quietly to avoid you and the truth. So this person know what they did. This person don't even want to apologize about what they did. They know what they did. They so ashamed about what they did to you. They rather just deal with how they deal with losing you, losing your friendship, rather than telling you the truth behind why they did the things that they did to you. They rather avoid you because they know what they did was totally messed up. They have to do you like that. And spirit, what they say, the truth will be revealed soon. So this person thought all this time they was going to get away with this. They mocking you behind your back. They probably like, oh, yeah, she still ain't got no job. She thinks she about to do this. She about to do that. Oh, look at her now. She doing this. She doing that. That ain't going to work for her. Pretending that they got love for you, but they in front of your face. Y'all all, all drinking wine. Y'all celebrating and toasting together and laughing, taking pictures, posting together. Pretending they got love for you and shit. Mm -mm, when they really hate you and envy you. Guess what? This person is so embarrassed. Comment down below if this has already happened. Let me know what the fuck did this person do? But let me tell you what your spirit, your spirit guy said. What my spirit guy said. Because you know they all work together. Okay, it says, Spirit is trying to humble this person. This person is very arrogant and boastful. Didn't they have this person is cocky? This person is cocky. This is something very specific for someone. Whoever, whichever one of your friends is very cocky, boastful, anytime they get something, like, I told you, this person is always in competition with you. Like, you tell them, yeah, I just got this new car. They're like, okay, they ain't got their new car yet, but... They're like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. Um, yeah, well, I'm about to get a better car than that. I'm about to get this kind of car. Like, trying to overdo what you do. And it's like, damn, I'm not even in competition with you. We both got to drive to get to where we're going. As long as you got a car, that's all that matters. Why does it matter what you got? And why every time I tell you what I got, you try to make what you got out to be better than mine? Like, damn. So, it says, this person is very arrogant and boastful. This person treats others like they're beneath them when they're on top. This person is very cocky. This person is really mean. This person has pride and ego. They're, they have a very nonchalant attitude. It's their way of the howling. They think everything is funny. Didn't I say somebody got a goofy ass friend? Yo, rewind this video. This person doesn't know how to open up or keep it real at all. Any more messages to it before I move on? This is weird. Oh my god, yo. Oh my god. This person is a liar. This person tried to get away with something by being sneaky and thieving you, okay? Ah, uh, these, hey girl, let me just go back. I just can't, thank you, spirit. Thank you. This part, thank you, my spirit angels and spirit guys. I love y'all. This person is a liar. They tried to get away with something by being sneaky and thieving. You cannot trust this person. Trust yourself and your intuition. I said use your intuition. You can't really put your finger on this situation. You can't really put your finger on it, but you know something ain't right about this person. You know it. You got all this shit going on in your life. And it's like this person always act like they're there. They always trying to get the business. 
Let me see if we got any more messages in this deck. Let me cut the deck. Any more messages, Spirit? Because after this, I'm going to get... After this, I'm going to get um, some lesson cards. Let's see what's the lesson that you needed to learn within this situation. Accept that job offer. Seriously, accept that offer. Look, you got your arms motherfucking folded. This is a divinely guided gift to you, okay? You better accept this goddamn offer. You got your arms folded like you don't want it. Spirit is saying accept that offer. Because that offer is going to gonna um help you bring bring whatever dream you're trying to bring to life like this is going to set it off you're going you may be somebody may work there you may meet somebody who worked there who knows somebody knows somebody that's going to help you with your shit like you never know how um you never know who you meet you never know why god put you in certain situations it may it may seem tricky like that he gonna put me in a situation where i'm working at this place i don't really want to work at this place but if somebody there that's going to help you get to that next level there's something there that's going to elevate you to where you want to be you will have success let me get you some lesson journey cards <laughs> what was the lesson that my collective divine feminines and masculine needed to learn within this situation What was the lessons that they needed to learn within this situation? Okay. Ooh, this just is a mess, y'all. I doubt this job gonna work. I doubt if I really wanna do this. I doubt if this gonna help me bring my dreams to life. Release. Release all them negative thoughts. That's why we need to burn that. Let's Let's go ahead and burn some sage just for you. Because you thought it was going to work. And let me tell you, you're going to have exactly what you want to have as long as you believe. I released the need to know all the answers. Time will tell. Look, only time will tell. Spirit is giving you the, the freaking, um, what's the word? They're giving you the blueprint. they letting you know all you got to do is follow my lead. Guess what? Sometimes rejections are no. So them jobs that you apply for that you thought was gonna help you bring your dream to life, they wouldn't that wasn't for you. This is for you. This the one that delayed you, the one that you didn't believe in. Oh, I don't wanna work this job. Oh, I don't think this job gonna work for me. Yeah, that one. That's gonna be the one that's gonna help you get to where you gotta go. I'm gonna get you get your negative energy out of here, but we're gonna get that out right now. You got to stop doubting the spirit and yourself. You got this. You got this. You got to redirect that focus. You got to stop believing in yourself. It says grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So for some of you, you could have lost a job and you could have been jobless. You could have been depending on this person who is now hurt. And now you got to pick up work. You got to go back to work. It's time for you to get a job. But now you know how to appreciate something because you know what it feels like not to have it. Is there any more uh, learning lessons that my collective needed to learn? What was the lessons that they needed to learn? Like, what was it? Oh, my God. Abundance. I'm a limitless being. I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. Girl, boy, man, whoever you identify as, whoever you are, whoever I'm connecting with. And excuse me in the video if I keep, you know, saying her or him or a, a lot of her and you or him. Just take it as if I'm talking to you, okay? Just take it for you. If you're watching this, it's for you right there yeah so um you got abundance coming your way you got success success abundance but it's coming in a form that you did not expect it's coming in a way where you're like i don't know about this but guess what what's yours will always be yours 
Everything happens in divine timing. Be loyal to what you love, which is your family and yourself, honey. Guess what? You got some things coming in for you. And you better come back and let a girl know. Or if this already happened, comment down below. Like, let me know. But you have been divinely guided. And go with your intuition. And watch out for this person, too. Mm -hmm. The one who's supposed to be your friend ain't really your friend. Cut them the fuck off. Just, you ain't, cut them off to where you ain't got to watch out. Ain't nothing to watch out with. Because they gone. Cut them off. But that was your reading. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. Please don't forget to comment down below so we can talk about it if this reading did resonate with you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If this reading did not resonate with you, go ahead and come back. Also, um, I'll be doing more readings, so just make sure you come back, okay? Just today went your day through, but... I'll be doing more readings. You never know which day will be your day, okay? Um, also, for my new subscribers, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you can't stay notified anytime I do upload new content. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. I hope that you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Mwah.